Welcome to Accounting with Madam Umbi. So we are going to look at cost estimation methods and uh, our method for today is the account analysis method. So as the name suggests, this method of cost estimation requires that we demonstrate an understanding of the components that make up all the cost in an organization. For instance, we are going to analyze the cost and demystify them into the variable components, the fixed components, and the mixed components. So this method of cost estimation can only be used when you have mixed costs, where some of the costs are variable, while other costs are fixed, while other costs have both components of fixed and variable which we call the mixed cost. Having such a case, we can be able to get each cost and uh, finally we are going to be able to estimate a cost function. Now, the kind of cost function that we want to approximate or to estimate is a cost function of the form y is equals to a plus bx, where y represents the total cost. A represents the total fixed cost. B represents the variable cost per unit. And X represents the cost driver. So in our case, we want to estimate a cost function of this form using the account analysis method. In the account analysis method, we have to follow some few steps for us to be able to achieve the objective. So for us to achieve the objective, we are going first of all to analyze the cost. So if you're given several costs uh, that were incurred during production, you have to analyze those costs. And you have to use your intuition as the accountant to identify what type of cost they are. So once you analyze the cost, you are going to classify them into fixed. Remember a definition of a fixed cost are costs that do not change in total. They do not change uh, as activity level increases. They remain constant but within the relevant range. So you are going to identify costs that are fixed within that range of activities. Then you're going to identify variable costs. Variable costs are costs that vary in a direct proportion with activity level. So as activity level increases, the variable cost also increases proportionately. So we're also going to be looking for variable costs. Then we're also going to be looking for mixed costs, which are costs that have both components of fixed and variable. So the mixed cost, for, like, for example, you can have an electricity bill that has a component of a fixed charge and uh, the, the rest of the bill is dependent on how many kilowatts uh, you are able to consume. So such kind of cost need to be broken down, which brings us to the other step number three which is dividing the mixed cost into their components of variable and fixed. So in your example, or through common practice, you can be able to identify how much of the mixed cost is fixed and how much of the mixed cost is variable. That depends on usage. So the same would happen for a supervisor salary where by, by probably they have a retainer salary, which is fixed but they also get paid additional money depending on the number of hours they have worked. So the amount that is fixed uh, and then the amount that depends on how many hours were worked is variable. So you have to be able to get both components of fixed and variable. So having gotten these two, the fixed and variable, they are what we are determining here is A and B. Remember from our equation, we have said that A represents the total fixed cost. B represents the variable cost per unit. 
So once you get the variable cost, you are going to divide and get the variable cost per unit and of course you also have the fixed cost. Having A and B, you are going to be able to formulate a cost equation. The illustration reads that the following cost information has been obtained from the latest monthly accounts for an output level of 10,000 units for the manufacturing department of ABC company. So out of all this information, all we need to note is that the level of output is 10,000 units. From this page, that the level of output represented by the cost that you're going to be given is a level of output of 10,000 units of output. So what are the costs? The cost items that you have been given we are told there is, that there is a direct materials cost of 100,000, direct labor cost of 140,000, indirect labor which you are told here is fixed of 30,000, there is a rent expense of 15,000, repairs and maintenance out of which 50% is fixed is 10,000 and a total cost of 295,000. From this information, you are required to estimate a cost function of the form y is equals to a plus bx. So the requirement here is that we estimate a cost function from this information. So what we are going to do uh, to arrive at a solution, we are going to analyze each of these costs, each of them, into whether they are variable, fixed, or they are mixed costs. So beginning uh, to look at our solution, let us start with direct material. So is direct material a fixed or a variable cost? Most direct costs are variable costs because direct meaning that uh, they can be traced in the final product and also most direct costs are variable costs. So direct materials in this case is a variable cost. It varies proportionately or directly with the level of our output. The more the production, the more the usage of direct materials. And the same is to be said of labor, direct labor. The more the production, the more the usage of direct labor hours. So the first two items, that is direct material and direct labor, they represent variable cost, costs that vary in proportion with the level of output. The indirect labor we have been told is fixed. This could be a supervisor salary which is fixed. It does not depend on how many units were produced. The supervisor has to be paid for supervision, general supervision for example, and this cost is fixed. So the indirect labor here we have been categorically told that it is fixed cost. If you look also at the rent cost, Rent ordinarily is a fixed cost. It does not vary because of production. Whether you produce or not, the however number of units you produce, the rent is a static or a fixed cost. So if it is the rent of premises for this example, then that is a fixed cost. For the repairs and maintenance, you have been told 50% is fixed, meaning that the other 50% is variable. So you're going to come up with a table like this. You're going to come up with a table like this where you have the total costs and you categorize it into fixed and variable. As we have said, direct material is a variable cost. Direct labor is a variable cost. Indirect labor, fixed cost. The rent we have explained and said is also a fixed cost of 15,000. The repairs and maintenance is a mixed cost. And the mixed cost we are going to apportion using the 50% fixed, meaning the other 50% is variable. We are going to apportion that cost into fixed and variable. So the 10,000 is going to be shared equally, fixed of 5,000 and variable of 5,000. So now we are going to get the total of these columns, which is the fixed column and the total of the variable column. The fixed column, we are going to have here 30,000 plus 15 
which is 45,000 plus 5,000 giving us 50,000. So the total fixed cost is 50,000. The total variable cost is 245,000. But now, uh, in our equation, when you are estimating an equation of y is equals to a plus bx, a represents the total fixed cost. So we have a. A is the total fixed cost. But b represents variable cost per unit. What we have here is total variable cost. What we have as 245,000 is total variable cost. So we need to ask ourselves how many units were produced for us to be able to get variable cost per unit. And I remember we had mentioned at the introduction of this question that we need to note that the number of units that were produced was 10,000 units that were produced. So having in mind that the 245,000 of variable cost was for 10,000 units of production, therefore we need to divide. So we are going to divide the 245,000 of variable cost divided by the number of units, 10,000 units. We are going to get that the variable cost per unit is 24.5. So the variable cost per unit is 24.5. Now, uh, in our cost estimation, we only require these two items. We require A and B, which we already have. So A being fixed cost of 50,000 and B being 24.5. Therefore, our cost estimation equation is as given here. Our cost estimation equation is going to be Y is equal to 50,000 plus 24.5 X. So account analysis method, you don't have to be given X and Y, like uh, the high-low method or the regression analysis where you have to have the Y and the X or past data in regards to total cost and the cost driver. In this case, you just have to analyze the accounts that you're given and determine whether the account is, um, the cost is fixed or variable. So that is how we do cost estimation using account analysis method. If you found this video to be useful, like, share and subscribe. Thank you.